heard that they got me on a tight leash But I'm a big dog like Argo Bobo in the lead, what he talking about? Cooking Chef T, what he talking about? Told me that the beef were unhealthy So we went green, what he talking about? Bobo in the lead, what he talking about? Cooking Chef T, what he talking about? Yo, it's your boy Tyrell And uh, we got Mr. Argos back here. I'm gonna say what's up to the people, man. Say what's up, man. Hey, get over here and say what's up to the people, man. There you go. There you go. So me and Argos are over here about to go for a hike. And I decided why not bring my camera and go ahead and talk about this topic, this highly requested topic that I've been getting so, so much. I've been getting DMs on Instagram. I've been getting comments on my YouTube videos. But before I talk about that, if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time watching the video, if it's your second time watching the video and you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can get a notification anytime we post. Join the, sh join the family. I'm about to say join the show, join the family. That's my other channel, my reaction channel, Showtime Reacts. If you like reaction channels, go ahead and subscribe. Link is in the description, man. Lately, a lot of people have been hitting me up, you know, asking, hey, is there any tips? Is there any types of advice that you can give me before I get my dog? Is there anything that you can, you know, help me with? A lot of people are becoming new dog owners every single day, whether they're adopting or getting from breeders. So today I decided why not go ahead and go for a hike, take my boy Argos for a hike, take you guys with me and answer some of those questions. Give you guys some of my advice. Cause if you guys don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, if you don't follow Argos on Instagram, which you should, his birthday is actually in two weeks. Argos is about to be two years old, man. And I got him when he was five months. I adopted him. Time has flown by. So throughout this journey of me having Argos the last, you know, year and a half, I came up with a list of personal experience, things that I, um, you know, would tell a future dog owner, things that I would, um, advice that I would give future dog owners if they were getting a dog. So these are five things to consider before getting a dog, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and go for a hike. I'm gonna kinda give you guys the whole five while we're walking, while we're hiking. I got my drone as well, so it's gonna be some awesome footage. I mean, it's just gonna be a good time, man. So y'all just sit back, go ahead and get your snacks, go ahead and get your drink, whatever it is that you like, whatever it is that you enjoy. Take notes if you have to, whatever the case may be. This is all my personal experience. So for me and somebody else out there, it may be different. Our list may be different, but this is from me and my personal experience having my buddy Argos. Argos, man, you ready? Look at him, he ready, you ready to go, man? Ready? Look at him, man. Well, he ready to go, guys. So without further ado, man, let's get into the video. It's kind of chilly out here, man. Got this TF. What he talking about hoodie on? If you guys want one, I got uh, small and medium left. So if you wear small and medium, this is your sign to go get one. Link is in the description, man. And we also have Argos hoodies as well. But the first thing that we're gonna talk about, the first thing to consider before getting a dog, is very, very simple, but very, very important. And what I mean by that is, why do you want a dog? All right, that, that's the question that you need to ask yourself. Why do you want a dog? Why do you want a dog that's gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? What makes you want that? Right there. All right, what makes you want a dog? Because most people, they want a dog because it's cute, because it's cuddly, it's furry, all that stuff, which is cool. That can be one of your reasons why you want a dog, but it shouldn't be your main reason. Because what happens is puppies, they get older and they become dogs, right? They become a lot bigger. They probably don't look, you know, as cute per se. Um, which I think Argo still looks handsome, by the way. But that happens when people expect puppies to be puppies forever, which is not the case. Puppies are not going to be puppies forever, right? They're going to turn into dogs they're gonna get a little older. And you have to ask yourself, why? Why do I want a dog? What's the main reason why? Me, personally, I wanted a companion. I wanted a best friend, someone I can grow with, you know? So I never was able to get a dog when I was a kid, you know? And um, as I got older, I just wanted a dog more and more, and then I got Argos. So ask yourself, why do I want a dog? If the only reasons that you can come up with is that they're furry and they're cute, 
then maybe you should ask yourself, do I really, really want a dog? Now, this isn't to scare you guys away from getting a dog. It's just to inform you because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, a lot of dogs are getting sent to shelters because when their puppies are cute and when they get older, their owners don't want them anymore, so they send them to shelters, you know? So I'm really trying to help animal shelters out as well, per se. That is my first thing you should consider before getting a dog. Let's move on to number two somewhere in there we're at the little haystack now but we're gonna go somewhere else uh come on girls. see this guy look at him he's running away guys look at this guy look at this guy look 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 at him where is he going guys look at this dude man what does he think he is look at him this guy man Argos. this guy likes to smell everything man All right, guys, so before we go into the, uh, the trail right here, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys number two. The second thing you should consider before getting a dog, this guy, is um, home and space, right? So like, what is your home like? Do you have an apartment? Do you have a townhouse? Do you have a single family home? What is it that you live in? Because there's also restrictions on uh, certain breeds, like pit bulls you can't have in certain places. Um, also, if they weigh a certain amount, it's going to cost rent to have a dog. So those are some things that you want to consider, right? When you're, when you're looking at dogs or like wherever you live, you want to see what type of rules and regulations your, uh, I guess you could say your community has. Luckily for me, when I got Argos, you know, I live with my dad, it's a single family home. So there's no landlord, there's no, uh, you know, leasing office tell me that I can't have a pit bull breed or any type of thing like that because it's a single family home some of you guys have apartments um you know it, it may be a little bit different for you guys maybe you can have a pit bull but you got to pay a fee you know what i'm saying so you want to double check with your community and um you know see what the rules and regulations are before you get a dog also spacing right spacing if you have a backyard depending on what type of breed you have there's certain breeds this guy man, just loves rolling in the grass Earl's good man what are you doing? Certain breeds, like I guess like a pug, right, for an example, may not need as much exercise. But someone like Argos who's super, super, super hyper, wow, man. This dude, he needs a lot of space. He needs a lot of um, running room. I got a backyard for him, things like that. So these are things that you want to consider, right? You want to make sure that you got space. Check your apartment, your townhouse, whatever type of community you live in. Double check the rules and regulations of that. That's very, very, very important, right? Um, and depending on where you live too, because I know like in the UK, I got a few subscribers, um, you know, from the UK, they said pit bulls are like banned there completely. You know, I'm pretty sure it's the UK. You know, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I had a few people telling me that like pit bulls are banned in their area. Um, so like, that's another thing. You, you just want to double check, make sure, check in. And, and, you know, obviously if you have a single family home, you're okay. If you live in an apartment or townhouse, you want to double check. All right, so that's the second thing to consider before getting a dog. We're gonna move on to number three when we get inside of the trail over here. I'm tired, ready to go? All right, let's go. Look at this dude. We ready to go, all right? Hey, man, you, you forgot to let me get your leash, dog. Hey, hey, you forgot to let me get your leash, man. Yo, let me get your leash, man. Let me, hey, 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 where you going, man? third thing to consider before getting a dog man are you gonna adopt or are you gonna get from a breeder all right this is very very important for a few reasons right now i adopted argos like i mentioned earlier in the video from a shelter um i just i just wanted to adopt them you know i could easily get a dog from a breeder but most of the time these dogs that are in shelters they need homes um and a lot of the times they're in these shelters that actually put them down if they don't get adopted. So I figured I'd save a life and adopt instead of shopping, which I don't blame people for shopping um, with breeders because some people, um, they go to breeders for specific reasons. Uh, sometimes they go to breeders so they can get a specific guard dog. You know, they want um, bloodline, right? They want a purebred. 
Sometimes if you go to an adoption shelter, um, it may not be a purebred dog. It may be a mutt mixed with a few different things, which some people in the comments don't think Argos is Pitbull. Um, he's staffy. He's a staffy, uh, according to the shelter that I got him from. Only way I can 100% know is if I get a DNA dog test, which is kind of expensive. It's like $100, man. So if you guys want to know what he is, <laughs> y'all can donate to my channel donate to my cash app whatever and i'll definitely get a dna dog test for him i'll leave a link in the description for that just in case that's what y'all want to do but you need to figure out if you want to adopt or if you want to get a um a dog from a breeder now to go ahead and compare the two if you get a dog from a breeder it's going to be way more expensive right you're talking thousands of dollars sometimes animal shelters um it's a little fee usually Usually you have to pay like, you know, anywhere from $100 to $350 is for them to get spayed and neutered, microchip, uh, get all their vaccines and stuff like that. That's usually what the cost is for. Um, when you go to a breeder, you're pretty much paying, you know, for that pure line that you know exactly who the mom and the dad is. Um, you know exactly what you're going to get pretty much. So that's another thing to consider. Do you want to adopt or do you want to shop? Now, the reasoning behind if you want to adopt or shop is completely up to you. But I just gave you a few examples. Some people, um, they want to use dogs for guard dogs. Some actually just like purebreds. If you have allergies to dogs, certain dogs don't give you allergies. You know, like Shih Tzus and because they're hypo, hypo, I can't even say the word, bro. Hypoallergenic. <laughs> and that's not to say that in animal shelters, you can't find purebred dogs. You can. You for sure can find purebred dogs um, I, I guess another thing too is um, when you go to a breeder you're able to get dogs very very young I mean as puppies you know like pretty much like what 12 weeks I think when you're able to to get a puppy be able to like raise them like a newborn baby pretty much you know what I'm saying and usually when you go to uh, animal shelters they're usually not that young I mean you can get lucky but some people want to, you know, be able to raise their puppy, raise their dog the way they want to. That's why they go to breeders, you know. I got Argos at five months, so there's a lot of things, a lot of trauma. There's still things that affect him to this day because the person that had Argos and his litter actually had to go to court and he couldn't have he couldn't have dogs. So I don't know what he did exactly, but Argos is very, very um, anxious. A lot of the times he's very scared. It wasn't something that he developed when I got him. Um, it was something I noticed when I got him, you know, and that's kind of like what the lady at the uh, the shelter had told me that they've been through a lot. So that's one of those things that you kind of got to uh, keep in mind when you're adopting. Some of these dogs have been through a lot of trauma, um, a lot of, uh, you know, mistreatment, everything, man. So all that stuff plays a factor. Just think about it like that, man. If you adopt, you're able to help change their lives and it can definitely change your life as well. If you go to a breeder, you're able to just get them when they're younger. Um, you can kind of know the uh, bloodline, the mom and the dad and things like that. Th those are usually like the main things that separate the two. So that is the third thing to consider before getting a dog, man. Just animal shelter or breeder. Let's move on to number four, man. figured out the reasons why you want a dog you know that it's not just because they're cuddly you know what I'm saying you got the apartment you got the townhouse the house you got that all situated you know that you want to get it from an adoption center or you want to get it from a breeder the fourth thing 
that you need to consider before getting a dog, man. It's very, very important. It's vet, vet bills, um, pet insurance, all that stuff is something that you need to consider, right? Do you, are you gonna get pet insurance? You know, and you guys don't know what pet insurance is. It's pretty much. What the hell was that? Sounded like an eagle, man, little ass bird. But, um. Why are these birds running, man? It might be a deer or a lion or something over there, man. Argus, you look out. Look out and make sure ain't nothing coming, man. We out here in the, the jungle, man. Pet insurance is pretty much like health insurance, but for dogs, you know what I'm saying, for your pet. Now, me personally, I don't have pet insurance. Um, I believe that, you know, just take money from checks and stuff that I get, money that I get, put it to the side. So if an emergency were to happen, I would have that covered already. I would say it's kind of like throwing your money away if your dog doesn't get sick. Now, I'll feed Argos a barf diet, which is a biologically appropriate raw food diet, um, which is raw food. And uh, it helps, you know, it helps them be healthier. It helps their coat be shiner, their teeth be whiter. You know, it helps with digestion. Things, a lot, a lot of benefits of a raw food diet, but that's not why we're here. If you guys want to know more about that, um, I do have some videos posted on Argos' channel called Life with Argos. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I talk about it a little bit more. Link is in the description, or you can watch a documentary called Pets, Pet Food, which is pretty much talking about, you know, kibble and the pet food industry. Go ahead and check that out. But vet bills, man, like, luckily Argos hasn't gotten sick or anything like that. He's had to go a few times for like allergies which still was like almost $200, you know, just for that. Um, depending on where you live, obviously the prices will differentiate, but for the most part, you wanna have vet, you know, just vet bills and things like that in mind, because you're gonna have to take them to get their their, uh, their shots. You're gonna have to take them to get their rabies shots, you know, things like that. If they get sick, you know, if they eat something they're not supposed to eat, you know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have those times where it happens. You know, God forbid, hopefully it doesn't happen, but just in case it does, you want to have some type of idea of what you're going to do. Is your pet insurance, you're going to, you're going to have your pet insurance cover it, or you're going to have a savings account, you know, strictly for your pet. How is it going to be? Keep that in mind. Once again, guys, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get you guys scared of getting a pet. I'm just trying to inform you. You know, because a lot of people, they show the cuddly, the cute, you know, all this, you know, all oh, the puppy eyes, they show all this, but they don't give you information, guys. They don't, they don't tell you the, there's the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I'm saying? I, I showed you guys the good where Argos is playing. I showed you guys the bad where Argos has chewed up my shoes, my jacket, my window seal. And now I'm giving you guys the facts as well. Like, you know, things that I've learned, actually. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it facts. I mean, some of these are facts, but this is my personal experience having Argos for over, you know, almost two years now. Um, knowledge that I want to pass along to you guys, stuff that I wish people had told me. You know, uh, a lot of this stuff I researched myself, actually, like quite believe it or believe it or not. I actually researched a lot of this stuff before I got Argos, um, but just getting into detail about a lot of this stuff. Like number five is crazy. This is like probably the biggest one number five which i'm going to tell you guys in a little bit just make sure that you have an idea of what you're going to do as far as pet insurance goes as far as their health goes you know what are you going to feed them all this stuff plays a part man you know and i know it can seem complicated you guys are probably like oh my god like i just wanted a dog i can cuddle yes you can get a dog that you can cuddle you can get a dog that you can play with that you can go to the park with that's going to be your best friend absolutely you can do that but you also got to keep in mind you have to take care of them you have to take care of them there it's your responsibility to make sure they're fed. Your responsibility to make sure that they have water. Your responsibility to make sure that they're healthy. You know, and, and a lot of YouTubers, or not even just YouTubers, I'm not trying to, you know, put anybody down. But a lot of people out there, they don't tell you guys everything about having a dog, man. It's not easy at all. But it's definitely rewarding if you already know what you're getting yourself into, right? Um, you know, obviously some dogs have different temperaments. Some dogs are a lot calmer. Some dogs are a lot more hyper. Um, some are more active, some are more laid back. All that stuff plays a role, guys. Um, but just me giving you my personal experience, because so many people have been asking me, bro, literally, like, all my comments, ins you know, Instagram DMs, people have been asking me, like, oh, please give me advice, give me advice. And, you know, this video is for all you guys out there, man. Um, it's a lot of work. And, you know, sometimes I could be stressed, you know, at Argos. It's right here. There's times where he stressed me out. Even on this, even recording this video, man, Argos be doing some stuff. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Like, seriously. But, you know, me and him had this type of relationship where we feed off each other's energy. And, um, you know, this is, it, it's a beautiful thing, guys. It can be a beautiful thing if you want it to be a beautiful thing, you know. If you let all this stuff get to your head, it's going to be very stressful. But 
that's just my advice you know this is my opinion and um, I'm gonna give you guys number five actually when I get to my car because we walk probably like two miles already and um, I'm gonna start heading back so I'll see you guys at my car y'all stay tuned all right guys we are back in the car I'm kind of sitting like slanted a little bit just so I can get the best lighting Argos is back here Argos say what's up man you have fun did you have fun <laughs> I put the camera on him. He tried to act like he's not tired. He was just, he was just tired just now. But look, I keep. <laughs> Argos, you good, buddy? Huh? Argos is hilarious. You see some other dogs over there. Right now, I'm about to give you guys the fifth and final thing to consider before getting a dog, man. Why well, when the camera, I don't understand Argos, when the camera gets on him, he stops panting. You don't want people to notice you tired. He's trying to be a tough guy. He don't want, he don't want you guys to know that he's tired. Look, look at him. It's okay, buddy, it's okay. We had a long, long hike, man. We're like 200 subscribers away from 17K. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Consider subscribing, joining the family, man. It'll really, really mean a lot. If you guys learned anything during this video, man, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below. And also, if there's some things that you have learned as a pet parent, comment down below. You guys interact so we can help all these new people that are trying to become dog owners. And also, um, maybe people that are dog owners. You know, there's some things that I can learn from you guys, things that you can learn from me, so on and so forth. All right, so the very last thing to consider before getting a dog. This is a really, really big one, man. Um, and it's probably impacted me the most. It's time consuming. Yes, time consuming. It's very, very, very time consuming having a dog. Now, what I mean by that, if you want to plan some trips to go out with your friends, you want to go out to dinner or something like that, or you want to go out partying, or you want to go on vacation, or if you got to go to work, any of these things that you have to do, you have to consider your dog, right? You have to figure out who's going to watch your dog. Um, if you're going to have a dog sitter, who's going to be able to let your dog out and your dog's age play a huge role in it. Yes, you can crate train them, but you don't want your dog, you know, in the crate, you know, 12 hours out of the day, 14 hours out of the day, things like that. You know what I'm saying? When I first got Argos, he was probably in the crate for about, I want to say anywhere between seven hours and um, six and seven hours. And, you know, my dad would be able to let him out when he got off. And then when I got home, you know, I can, you know, have him out. This is when he was very young because when they're very young, you know, and they're not, you know, crate trained or they're not potty trained all the way. They can mess up your room while you're gone. And it's very dangerous um, to have your dog out in your room just roaming um if you got a lot of things in your room you know what i'm saying they can chew uh you know wires a whole bunch of things and get into play with that right but as they get older as you train them they're able to stay out of their crate while you're gone right um so that's one thing to consider right and this thing right here i mean it's, it's been very very big on me because anytime i go to my friend's house or things like that argos is at the age where like i can kind of leave them out or whatever or if he's in the crate, he's not in there for that long. Um, but most of the time, I try to have uh, you know him just stay out of the crate, or I'll have like my brother or somebody check on him while I'm gone, things like that. So like that's another thing to consider. I think it's a really big thing, especially you like to travel. Are you gonna take your dog with you? Um, you know, if you're gonna get a, a dog sitter, there's also like dog daycares that you can look into. Like these are different options, right? Now, obviously. Um, you know with the whole COVID thing going on because right now I'm recording this COVID is happening You probably don't want to put your dog in a daycare. Maybe you're working from home, whatever the case may be But these are all things that you must consider man And it's not even just about going to work if you're working from home Like if you want to go on a vacation for two weeks, you want to go to Spain, Italy, you know, Africa, whatever you want to go to Japan Are you going to take your dog with you? If not, who's going to watch your dog? These are things you want to think about All right, now once again, these these are just this is just information. I'm not trying to scare you guys away or anything, man. I just wish that people um, would understand what it takes to have a dog. A lot of people think it's super easy. It's like, oh, they're just a dog. They're cuddly. They want to leave them locked out outside. No, they're literally like a kid, man. It's like literally raising a kid, especially if you get a puppy. Now, if you get an older dog, you know, um, that you adopt or whatever, I can't really tell you much because I've never adopted an older dog. Some dogs that you can adopt five, six years old, they probably trained already. It's probably a little bit easier for you. Um, but 
I don't really know much about them because I haven't adopted an older dog. You know, I'm only telling you guys from my experience, my personal experience, man. And uh, dealing with this guy right here, Argos. Say if you go through the checklist, you're like, oh, I know why I want a dog, check. I know where I want to get my dog from, check. I got the space for a dog, check. Vet bill, check. But I don't know about the timing thing. That's okay, you can still get a dog and you can figure it out, but these are just things I want you guys to be aware of. A lot of people get the dog, oh, it's cute, it's cuddly, puppy eyes, you know, the whole nine yards or whatever. And then they don't even think about vet bills. Oh, I gotta take a dog to the vet, I gotta get them shots and stuff? Wow, and then they go to the vet and it's a couple hundred dollars and they're like, whoa, this is this is a lot. Or, you know, maybe they, they didn't know about the rules with, with certain dogs where you gotta pay, um, you know, rent and stuff like that for your, your dogs. So they'll get a dog and, you know, they have to pay rent you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of information out there that people don't know and i'm not saying i know all that you know all the information i'm not saying i got all the answers but i'll give you guys my experience i'm giving you guys knowledge that i've learned over the years man and i'm 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 very grateful that you guys want to hear you know my tips you know hear my uh advice on getting a dog i mean that means a lot really to to have people want to hear your opinions to, to want to hear your advice and things like that you know so i must be doing something right you know and i hope i answered a lot of you guys questions if you guys like this series man if you guys like this video i'll turn it into a series and i'll give you guys more tips and more tricks and more advice uh, on things that i've learned now argos isn't the perfect dog you know what I'm saying? He's not the perfect dog. Me and Argos also butt heads a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? But we had a type of relationship where it's all good at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I love Argos. He loves me. Sometimes I, he get on my nerves. Sometimes I get on his nerves. You know what I'm saying? It'd be times where Argos like doesn't want to cuddle. He want to go in his crate. And I'm like, nah, Argos, come over here, man. Come give me some loving. You know what I'm saying? And he's just like, oh, like, damn, dude, get, get, get the hell off me. So it's a very, very um, rewarding relationship a rewarding bond if you're willing to make those sacrifices if you're willing to accept all these things that i talked about plus more this is just like just touching the surface man um and i hope it helps you guys if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments if you are a dog owner leave some of your advice down in the comments so we can help all these new dog owners the holidays are coming up so a lot of people are probably going to be getting uh you know new dogs or cats or whatever the case may be and uh, let's try to help them out, man. You guys make sure you share this video on your Facebook, your social media, things like that, because somebody may be looking to get a dog and they may have no idea where to start, you know? Um, so yeah, and once again, man, hoodies in the description, t-shirts in the description. I got some shirts and hoodies with Argos's face on it, his paw print, all that cool stuff um, in the description as well new music your boy makes music as well new music my album is out a single is out in the description um reaction channel in the description all right was anything you want to say to the camera man don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that subscribe button you better hit it too i'm watching you <laughs> What are they talking about? <laughs> Oh. Friday night set the run and shoot the run All the boys shoot. I played with left the game just to run and shoot, run and shoot. Treat my life just like pirates, all I want is to loot yeah. I just want my parents living comfortable, living comfortable. Everything you want, they say it's up to you yeah.